Don't worry, I washed the tongs since I last used them and they touched raw pork. Be very careful about what your raw pork touches. Stay safe. Hi, I'm Francesca Dowis and today I'm going to be making pork adobo. I'm Filipino-American and adobo is one of the more famous Filipino dishes. It is a sweet and salty meat stew. Most Filipinos have their own sacred adobo recipe that has probably been passed down through generations. Um, we Filipinos are usually pretty secretive of our recipes, so I'm really spilling the beans with you today um, uh, on the recipe that my family and I usually make. You can really customize it to, to fit what you like, but this is kind of the, a fundamental basic adobo recipe. And so here are the ingredients that you'll need. Two pounds of meat. Um, traditionally, uh, people like chicken or a mix of chicken and pork. I personally love pork, so I'm using two pounds of pork butt. Next, we have 10 cloves of garlic, roughly chopped. Um, I kind of like to leave the garlic a little in bigger pieces for that added texture. Four bay leaves one teaspoon of ground black pepper. Next, we have a cornstarch slurry, which is um, equal parts of cornstarch and water, a tablespoon of each. For sweetness, I have two tablespoons of brown sugar, half a cup of soy sauce, and um, the recipe calls for a cup of vinegar. Um, I am using 3 fourths cup of regular white vinegar, and I um, added a fourth of a cup of balsamic vinegar. Um, I personally really love the, the added sweetness that the balsamic adds. Oh, and lastly, I should mention that we're using the Instant Pot for this recipe. It really cuts down on the cooking time um, without sacrificing any of the flavor. All right, let's get started. So first, I'm going to press the saute button. Um, I'm gonna leave it at 30 minutes and I'm going to wait until it tells me that it's hot. All right, the Instant Pot says it is hot. So we are gonna start browning our meat. And I should mention that I've cut it, I've cut the pork into roughly um, one inch cubes. So I'm gonna add the pork in. Um, I didn't add any oil, additional oil, because the meat is pretty fatty. Um, it, I trimmed only a little bit of the fat, so there should be enough oil in there. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait until the meat gets nice and brown. I'm not gonna care too much if it's cooked all the way through, since I am going to be pressure cooking it in the sauce. All right, so I have browned all of the meat and I'm transferring it into another bowl. So now I am going to add the garlic. the bay leaves, and the pepper. I'm just gonna let, let it be for a couple minutes until the garlic is kind of browned. All right. This is looking great, smelling great. We are going to dissolve the two tablespoons of brown sugar into the soy sauce, um, vinegar, white vinegar balsamic mixture. So that is all dissolved, and now we're going to deglaze the pan, scrape up those brown bits that are on the bottom. I feel, my spoon feels like all of the brown bits are nicely scraped up. So, now we are going to add the pork back into the pot. Take one good look at this before it gets pressurized. So we're gonna cancel the saute and I'm pressing the pressure cook button. 
um, and it is high pressure, we're gonna pressure cook it for 13 minutes. It's been 13 minutes of cooking in the Instant Pot and I hit the off button so now the cooker is turned off. I'm gonna switch the, the little knob from sealing to venting and it's gonna release a big cloud of steam. So be careful and um, stay safe. What's your fondest memory of adobo? Eating it. <laughs> um, I think this is probably the first Filipino dish that I remember eating. This and lumpia um, Filipino egg rolls. Yum, yum, yum! As Emerald would say, I wish he had smell-o-vision. I just want to eat that right now. Let me just dump that lid over here. But we're not going to do that. We're going to kick this up a notch and broil the meat in the oven to really crisp it up and make it even more tasty. I have a sheet pan here that I lined with aluminum foil just to make cleanup easier. I've already preheated the broiler in the oven. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to transfer the meat. Now I'm going to pop it under the broiler in our oven. Really keep your eye on it, um, especially uh, high heat like the broiler because you don't want the pork to burn. You just want it to be perfectly crispy. Okay. Excellent. So the pork is browning, working rather quickly here. I'm going to go back to the Instant Pot and hit saute um, and leave it at 30 minutes. So going back to the cornstarch slurry that I showed y'all at the beginning. Um, again, equal parts cornstarch and water. You can really use as much or as little of the slurry as you want. Um, it's really up to your taste and how thick you want the sauce of the adobo. So, it's on again on the saute function and I'm just going to add all of that slurry into the pot. And this cornstarch slurry is a thickening agent and it's really activated when added to a liquid um, and it when the liquid boils. I'm going to go ahead and fish out the four bay leaves that we had. They have served their purpose. I'm really loving this consistency that we have going right here. This looks pretty perfect to me. So I'm just going to turn off the Instant Pot. I don't wanna to lose too much of the liquid. I still want there to be a nice sauce to go along with the meat. Um, Going to let that sit for a little bit while we wait for the meat to get perfectly brown. All right, so taking the meat out of the oven, as you can see, it's a really nice brown color. Okay, so to serve, we're just gonna take all our beautiful broiled pork, and now we're just going to pour over our sauce. So here is the finished adobo. I have a bowl of rice here, and I'm going to serve myself a portion. Yes, be sure to get all that sauce on that rice. Mm, it smells so good. It's hot, but I'm going to eat it anyways. All right, pork adobo, let's give it a try. That is so good. It's just such a good blend of sweet, salty, um, acidity from the vinegar. It's really, really delicious, if I do say so myself. Do you want some, camera person? Mmm. Mmm. Is it good? Yeah. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you do too. Thank you so much for watching and supporting Theater Moo. We really, really appreciate it. And we will see you soon. 
Bye.